This is Dr. Susan Thrall. I'm going to show you how to draw some simple figures in InDesign using the Polygon, Ellipse, and Rectangle tool. So let's go over here and choose the Ellipse tool. And I'm going to go to my document and draw one grape. And we're going to make from this a bunch of grapes. Notice over here my Fill tool is set to None and my Stroke tool is set to Black. So I have an outside black stroke on this, but it's not filled with anything. So I'm going to go to the Swatches panel, scroll down, and choose a color to fill it with. Now I'm going to duplicate these grapes. So I choose my Selection tool, and I go to the Edit menu, choose Copy, Edit menu again, choose Paste, and I have another grape. Now making sure that I'm not on one of the outside resizing handles, I drag that grape over and drop it as a stacked layer on top of the first grape. Edit Paste again, do the same thing. Now an easier way to duplicate these grapes instead of going Edit Paste is to hold down the Alt key and drag. So making sure I'm not on the resizing handle, I'm holding down the Alt key and I'm dragging to make a bunch of grapes. So there's my set of grapes. Now I'm going to make a little stem on the grapes. So going over to the Rectangle tool, I'm going to draw a small stem, and I'm going to fill it with green. My stem is straight up and down, so I'm going to move that around using my tool that will transform the position of these items. I click a thumbtack in the middle of the stem and drag it to the position I want. So I'm rotating it using the Rotate tool, transforming where it's located. Lastly, I'm going to draw a grape leaf. So going back over to my Rectangle, Ellipse, and Polygon tool, I select the Polygon tool, click I'm going to have 7 is the number of sides and about a 15% star inset. I don't worry about the height and the width. I'll change that in just a second. Click OK. There's my rather gigantic leaf. I'm going to fill it with green. Then taking my selection tool, I'm going to shrink it. So there's my set of grapes with my leaf. And I'm going to draw some veins in the leaf but I need to zoom in a bit. So using my magnifying tool, I'm going to zoom in to my grape leaf, choose the line tool, and start drawing some veins. and then zoom back out to 100%, and there's my set of grapes. Now, opening up the layers, you can see that I have one layer and this entire set of grapes, so if I draw a marquee box around all the grapes, all the stacked layers that I drew, it is in layer one. Now, I want to have these items in a separate layer rather than layer one, so I'm going to click the Add New Layer button, double-click layer 2 that I've just added to change its name to grapes. And now, selecting the select box, I'm going to drag it from layer 1 up to layer 2. So now my grapes are in the grape layer, not in layer 1. Alright, now I'm going to draw one more item, a watermelon slice, and I want to do that in its own layer, and I'm going to establish the layer before I start drawing. So I click on the Add New Layer, there's Layer 3, change its name, click OK. I'm going to take the Ellipse tool, 
drag a watermelon with the swatches fill it with green and I'm going to make the tint lighter so drag the slider to something that looks a little lighter next I'm going to copy this layer so making sure I have the selection tool I'm going to edit copy edit paste and I have another green watermelon I'm going to drag this over and set it on top of the first one like so this one I'm going to fill with a pink colored flesh now I want a watermelon slice and certainly here this doesn't look very much like a watermelon so I'm going to take the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw over a rectangle and have the bottom of the rectangle exactly where the pink oval and the green oval meet. I'm going to fill the rectangle with paper which blocks out the top part of my watermelon and I'm going to make the stroke instead of black I'm going to make the stroke of none. So then with my selection tool deselecting it I have what looks like a watermelon slice. It looks more like a slice if I go into preview where I don't see that box at all. I'm going to zoom in to my watermelon slice and using the ellipse tool I'm going to drop myself some watermelon seeds and fill them with black. back to 100% and there I have my watermelon slice so deselecting everything going into the preview screen you can see that I have two pieces of fruit here going back to normal view looking at layers if I drag a marquee box around my watermelon slice you can see it's in the watermelon layer. If I drag a marquee box around my grapes, you can see it's in the grape layer. Now I have previously drawn a yellow squash. I'd like to bring this into my picture. So I'm going to add a new layer. Call it yellow squash. Drag a marquee box around the entire yellow squash it's right now in layer one move its selection box up to the yellow squash layer and then I'm going to drag it into my picture going into preview deselecting everything I have three items in my picture so this is how you can create simple objects in InDesign using the polygon ellipse and rectangle tool Remember that InDesign is not a graphics program. So this is an exercise in using the tools that we have, the polygon ellipse rectangle tool, and also establishing layers and putting things in layers. And this is the purpose of Project 3.